a person bought a refrigerator worth rupees 22800 with 12.5% interest compounded yearly at the end of first year he paid 8650 that means 8650 rupees he has paid at the end of first year and second year he has paid an amount of 9125 so the question is how much he will have to pay at the end of third year to clear the complete debt and we got four uh, options so we'll see the solution now we'll work it out we'll work out interest using the simple interest formula uh, what we'll do is that uh, first year's interest will be simple interest and second year's interest will also be simple interest but we'll carry forward the interest of first year so this will do the compounding automatically formula will be p into r into t upon 100 for si and amount balance will be worked out by using this statement that is amount plus interest minus amount paid so this will give us balance amount at the end of each year first year the amount is 22800 and interest will be 22800 period is 1 year rate is 12.5 divided by 100 it is 2850 so total amount balance at the end of first year will be 22800 plus interest that is 2850 minus amount paid 8650 so balance at the end of first year is 17000 rupees now this 17000 rupees is inclusive of interest at the rate of 12.5% so now we carry forward this amount to second year so second year the outstanding amount is 17500 this is inclusive of interest of 12.5% on previous year so when we work out simple interest here on second year it becomes automatically compounded so the amount is 17500 rupees period is again one year and the rate is 12.5% so total amount is 2125 this is the amount of interest the amount balance at the end of second year will be 17000 plus 2125 minus amount paid 9125 so the balance is 10000 rupees at the end of second year now in similar manner if you calculate for third year you'll find that balance amount at the end of third year is 11250 so that means answer is option d So hope it is clear thank you